I'm Paul Cashmere with today's music news from undercover.com.au. So what do you give a 400-year-old as a birthday present? Well, Paul McCartney has given the city of Quebec a 36-song set list of his greatest hits. So Paul played a free show at the Canadian City on the weekend. 200,000 people turned up to watch him play. Well, Jessica Simpson was booed during a first country concert on the weekend. The 28-year-old blonde launched her new sound at the Country Thunder Festival in Twin Lakes, Wisconsin on Saturday night. And the show didn't go all that well. Surprise, surprise. As well as showcasing material from the new album Jessica, which is a country record, she was dressed in tiny shorts, cowboy boots and a tight white shirt. Brian Wilson has offered to refund money for fans who are unhappy with his show last week in New York. On July 11, he played the Stand Up For A Cure benefit at the Hammersmith Ballroom in New York City, and fans weren't too happy about the poor seating and the bad choice of songs in the set list. So Brian's wife Marilyn has posted a notice at brianwilson.com saying fans who weren't happy with it, they'd be happy to fully refund their money. Paul Simon's going a little cuckoo at the moment. In fact, he's suing the makers of a cuckoo clock who are using his song Bridge Over Troubled Waters without his permission. According to the suit, it's estimated the company has sold something like 400,000 clocks and he estimates the damage worth to be about $10 million. The Financial Times has gone and outed Rolling Stone guitarist Ron Wood as a nice guy. Right at the height of Ron's alcoholic binge session and seedy sexual escapades with that 18-year-old Russian girl, he's gone and done a sensible and informative interview with the FT. How dare he turn the Murdoch press into sleazy liars. Don Felder hasn't done himself any favours spending an hour with Howard Stern last Thursday paying out on his former band The Eagles. And so what? To quote a Joe Walsh album title, Felder was promoting his book Heaven and Hell, My Life in the Eagles, and it's a pretty accurate account of what did happen in that band, according to insiders. But so what if a rock and roll band took drugs and had sex and lots of alcohol? Since when is it a surprise that a rock band acts like a rock band? That's not news, that's just how the music biz is, Don. And I'm Paul Cashmere. Find out more about these stories and others today at undercover.com.au.